Well, the cold temperatures and the forecast for the weekend are a reminder that winter is still very much here, so it is not the time to let your guard down. With overnight temperatures expected to dip into the teens once mm. again, you're going to want to make sure the pipes in your home don't freeze. News 8's Brian Spiros joins us live in New Haven this morning with some very important reminders. Hey, Brian, good morning. Brian. Good morning, Laura and Keith. You know, we've been pretty lucky in recent weeks with the mild temps, that spring-like feel. Well, all of that is going to be ending this weekend. It's the return to winter. After all, it is winter. Kevin has been talking about the forecast. Those temps expected to dip overnight down into the teens. And when the temps dip that low, pipes along any exterior wall of your home are susceptible to freezing. Now, if a pipe does freeze and break, you are going to have a mess on your hands. Damage to walls, floors, and ceilings, as well as the cost of fixing all of it, which most of the time is not cheap. So to avoid all of this, open cabinet doors under your sinks in your kitchen and bathrooms. Let the warm air in your house get to those areas so the pipes don't freeze. But if that does happen, there is a way to fix the issue before it gets to that point. However, it is all about timing. If a pipe is broken, they're going to hear the water running. If they wake up and they go to their faucet and their faucet happens to be not running, leave the faucet open, open the cabinets, put a hair dryer or heater in that cabinet where that area is, check your other faucets. You can help as long as you leave the faucet open. And if the pipe is frozen and it has somewhere to expand to, it won't break. So keep all of that in mind. Leave that faucet on. Now, Rotolo adds that if a pipe does break, usually the insurance will pay for the damage, but not the plumbing bill to fix the issue. Also, with those mild temps over the last few days and weeks, some of you may have taken out the hoses to wash your cars. If that's the case, make sure you shut the water off to that outdoor faucet so it doesn't freeze. Reporting live this morning from New Haven, I'm Brian Spiros. Laura, back to you. Okay, thank you.